are doing. So I'm going to be sharing my thoughts and opinions on this video. Now I saw it was blowing up baby for the last two days or so um, on a black teacher who was terminated for allowing his female students to take down his hair. Now while I'm talking about this, I'm going to separate my hair and braid up my own hair. So I saw first was his apology video. So I hadn't seen the actual video of the young ladies in his hair. And there was, God, it, it had to be about how many were there around him? Too many in his head. Um, he's a science teacher. He's a middle school teacher, a science teacher. And I thought it was funny how they all had their red, red tail combs and taking down his hair. Now, I don't know if it was this video of them taking down the hair or the previous, his apology, where he literally started off the video something to the sort of, I'm going to stare, I'm about to stare the pot, you know, so you already know you're in the wrong, right? He sent forms home to the parents. So this is how I feel about it, you guys. And this it's going to kind of go all the way around in a circle. Do I feel it was okay for the teacher to have allowed those students to unbraid his hair? Absolutely not. Um, first of all, you are a science teacher. This is not cosmetology school. Um, I don't care if you got approval. Absolutely not. There's no reason for that. It was inappropriate. And to make it even worse, you're going to load up the video, in my opinion, for attention onto your own, you know, TikTok, social media. No. No. Did the parents know that you were going to be doing that too, in addition to allowing them to unravel your hair? No. There have been other videos, and people have shared them, of teachers who have allowed students to undo their hair. And there have been, you know, instances where teachers have actually done children hair in their classrooms. There is a double standard. We know this. We know this when it comes to the cases we hear about the inappropriate relationships between, um, sadly, so sick, between teachers and their students. Uh, we know, we've heard about the Mary Kay Letourneau, where she actually is the Mary Kay Letourneau. She had two kids. Ended up marrying him. Unfortunately, she ended up passing away of cancer. What's my point, girl? The punishments are very light for the female teachers that are caught basically as an their their students and it's 666 and i think it happens a lot more than we care to know about um there is a double standard there and again i have seen the pictures of the female teachers that have had students unravel their hair but you can't sit up here and say that you would feel the same way if it was a girl unraveling the hair as opposed to a boy and the reason why i say this too is that Y'all, just the feeling itself just made me uneasy just to see that. It made me uneasy because this is a young teacher at that. This is not, you know what I mean? So children are very impressionable at that age. What is that, like 12, 13-year-old age? Um, For you to be a younger hip, you know what I mean? Hip. There's something about boundaries. It is a, and it's crucial as an educator, someone in that position to set the boundaries and make it clear and to not waver from that. I get that some teachers want to, and even parents want to be that cool parent, that cool teacher. But when children put you, some, some children, when they put you in that cool, then you're my friend, then I could treat you like my friend. Same thing with a parent. My, I say this too. There are some parents that want to be friends with their kids. Not this parent. JV and I are not friends. My son is JV. We are not friends. He is my child. Now, when it gets to a certain age, then yes, I will consider him as my friend. But now my main responsibility is to provide, guide, and nurture my child. Okay? And that's as a parent, not as a friend. Let me get back to the to the to what I'm talking about. Yeah, when you start to be the cool teacher, then the children look at you as, okay, now... You're cool. Now, you my friend. Now, I can treat you like one of my friends and not as an authoritative figure. Does that make sense? And the reason why I can tell this is the guy comes back on his TikTok and he's crying. And one of the students start the, their email to him or how, however he contacted, the child contacted him. Hey, bestie. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not digging it, y'all. 
I'm not feeling it. I think it's inappropriate. I think that he, again, I think he did that original video of them taking down the hair for attention. I really do feel that way. I don't think that he expected this outcome. Well, and I don't think it's right for anybody, regardless if you're male or female, to be allowing a child to be putting their hands in your hair and taking it down. We got to have boundaries, y'all. You got to have, that's too close for me. Got to have space. No, we're not doing that. Um, should he have gotten fired? I'm still on the fence about that. A part of me says yes, because you. this is what the outcome is. Um, yeah, it doesn't make me feel good. And not only that, if you guys, if you're in the comments, look at some of the people reaction videos. I definitely see a difference with um, the men's reactions versus the women. A lot of the men are like, absolutely not. Yeah, I saw a couple of them say it's too intimate for them. Um, so that's that, you know. So are we sexualizing hair? No, but again, it's the closeness, it's the boundaries that is inappropriate. And I say it again, as an adult, as an educator, you are responsible for creating that. And when you open up the door, a lot of school districts have a policy in place about putting stuff on social media. You got it. We got to do better, y'all. That's just ridiculous. Like, it to me, that was unprofessional. It was a little bit unethical. Should he, again, maybe suspended, you know? Suspension, suspended is a good, but again, it's the, he doesn't see there was anything wrong with it, even because he got consent from the parents. No, I'm not digging it. I'm not, I'm not feeling it at all, y'all. It's just, it just made me, it creeped me out, creeped me out a little bit. And yes, I get it. Again, I understand that there have been female teachers that have allowed other, you know, students to dig all up in their hair and nothing has been done to them. Um, there has to be boundaries. There has to be a level because you have to understand these kids are going through, they're going through puberty still. They're, so these kids are hormone. Um, there could be a line of disrespect. So yeah, I still say no. So y'all, let me know what you think. Like, do you think that it was inappropriate? How do you feel about that? Do you think he should have been fired? Should he have been talking to, you know, brought him in like the next day, had a conversation? Even if he got approval, apparently, you know, that's what he's saying. They signed the waiver. The teachers, I'm sorry, the parents were okay with it. I just don't know. I would not have... I, I mean, mean, I don't know about the firing part, but I, I'm a big part of me is saying yes. I feel, yeah, yeah, you know, it is. But that's the consequences. So, all right, you guys, that is it. That's all I have to say about this. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.